Greetings, I am the Dark Master 13, and welcome to part 1 of my walkthrough of the 1996 Sierra Adventure game based on the series of Arthur C. Clark and Gentry Lee, Rama. The story of the game itself was based on the events and characters of Rama 2, as if the first book in the series had not occurred. Exactly what's going on on Earth is never really explained, but that doesn't really matter anyway. Alright, I'll be giving my commentary on the game while showing you the gameplay. If you want to see the raw footage, check out T-Lancer 129's YouTube channel. When I first played this game, I was uh, pretty young, and this seems to scare me quite a bit. Though, eventually I got used to it, and it had a tendency more to get me all riled up and excited for when the game actually started. Some of the songs in this do rather have that effect on you. So let's scale right ahead and start a new game. And your shuttle takes off from who knows where. Apparently it's pretty easy to get to the space station from wherever you were. Warriors of the gigantic cylindrical space ship of unknown origin. <laughs> discover hurtling toward our sun. The International Space Agency decided to mount an expedition Really important backstory going on right here. Well, and of course you never really figure out what's going on here anyway. With the alien ship named Rama. Because they ran out of all the other words in Christian, Greek, and I believe even Norse mythology. Hmm. And those of you familiar with the series will know, of course, that uh, Gentry Lee was the one who largely programmed this, or wrote this part of the story. Only getting tips from Arthur. ...its initial sortie into the dark and hollow interior of Rama, astronaut commander Valerie Borzov mysteriously died following a routine medical procedure. You are to... You find out later exactly why. ...initial commander Dr. David Brown will give you specific assignments. General mission is straightforward. Explore Rama. Discover as much as you can about the origin and purpose of this intruder from the stars. And you never really do. Hi. Bonjour. I am Nicole Desjardins, the medical officer. I hope that your shuttle ride over was uneventful. For all of us here, I would like to welcome you to Rama. And She's let you know that we pretty really important in the story. This is the hub site. Your arm computer She's should also be located the in your locker the most often over there. In the in the game. As I'm sure you know, it is our most critical piece of equipment. You'll need it to read all the data cubes and the crew member vid. She's mail. right. Speaking of vid mail, the hub site computer against that wall contains introductory vid mail for you from each of the other crew members. They're all eager to say. In this them. introductory vid mail, I will I not be showing you the in the walkthrough. Things. That'll be it's in the really first bonus video that I post. Cylinder, which makes the work a little bit more difficult, but we're all getting used to it. Meanwhile, everyone else is busy working inside Rama, installing the remaining this infrastructure. This area and itself new is called the uh, Hub Camp. You can hear right that now, quite a I'm bit. The cable car in any case, most of the site. stuff you see here is made out of humans, while, or made by humans, you can check out except the for the floor, which is an alien. And then come and join us. Or a war. And let's see if I can wrap up all of the uh, hub camp in the first part of the video. I'm off to a great start. I still got five minutes left, at least. And this game also has some great music, so I'll just take a quick look around. And I think I'll head on over to my locker and get the first piece of equipment I need, my Swiss Army knife, and my computer. Pretty important. And of course somebody gets to annoy me pretty soon because I picked that up. And like I said, I'm not going to actually show you these, but I do have to watch one of them to actually move on. So we'll just skip through that for now. And I'll get back to this as soon as 
Oh, and now it's time to see your first day. Oh no, I gotta get a message from somebody. I told you they were gonna annoy me soon. I have a pointless one. You can do that for her, but it doesn't really do anything. Now you get to see your first witness of an alien. You'll be seeing that guy a fair bit. Or a girl, or whatever. Probably an alien of some kind. Now that uh, vid mail I just watched on the computer tells me about my little guy that's going to be inside Wakefield's locker, so I'll just get him now. More like your voice, your interactive force with the world. Because you are a faceless, nameless, gender ambiguous, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and skip the rest of this uh, little introduction for him. He knows a lot more about the spaceship than he knows about you or the humans here. And you just heard the uh, cable car come back up. But first we got one more interesting thing to deal with. Remember she said she wanted us to get her cigarette later? That's a tip that she left her key down here. But she left it on something interesting. International Nuclear Agency. Not armed. Inactive. I'll just go ahead and take her key off the side. It was just sitting right there. And with that, I can get into her locker. That was real smart, real secure of you just to leave that line around. Let's take the important stuff and leave behind the useless stuff. And now I got an unmarked key for her, the only other locker you can access. Really uh, hard to figure out there. And of course I can't read that second data cube right now. They're both written messages for certain members of the crew. In any case, that about wraps up the tent site. That other vid critical message on the computer tells you what the passcode is for this uh, cable car. 4143. It took me a long time to figure that one out. In any case, let's go right ahead and watch one of my favorite parts of the start of the game. I love this bit. And it's got some of the best music too. It's also the only time you ever see yourself, but you're really just a shadow. And now, all the lights come on for some reason. Never really explained, they just come on. In any case, that concludes the uh, part one of this uh, video. I'll be ending it here. And uh, we'll hopefully continue the uh, on to net part two pretty soon.